Welcome to TEDx Surrey Conversations with our speakers. I'm Noel Bentley, and I'm the host and program manager of TEDx Surrey, which was originally TEDx Bear Creek Park. Today, we're lucky to have Lara Boyd. Now, she in university suffered a basketball injury, which spurred her interest in medical science. Now, she's currently a professor at UBC. She has 20 years of award winning research and teaching, and she's published 200 chapters and scientific papers, and she's a sought out speaker on brain health. Welcome, Lara. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's great to have you here. And let's just dive right into now. If you could share with us what you'll be speaking on, but I'm going to ask you if you can do your best to avoid the spoilers. Sure. So I'm very interested in brain health and in how our environment and our behavior shape the health of our brain. Um, and I think that everyone watching this has probably noticed there's been a lot going on in the world the last couple of years. And so I'm going to talk just about how that might be impacting our brains, impacting our ability to learn, and hopefully help everyone leave with some good ideas about what they can do to counter any negative effects from our current pretty stressful world. Well, fair enough. And, and we talk about, you know, our theme has always been a shift in thinking. Is there something specifically, and you know, maybe not in your talk, but what do you want your audience to leave with? Or what's going to happen to your audience after they've heard your talk? For me, the most exciting part about giving this talk would be to hope that the audience is going to leave feeling really empowered, that people are going to leave understanding that their ability to reorganize their brain, their ability to have a healthy brain is really shaped by decisions they can make in their daily life. So you're not feeling out of control, very in control, in the driver's seat, if you will, of your own brain health. Um, and so that's what I hope people walk out the door with. I think you will if I do my job properly and uh, we'll find out. Well, for people to walk out the door, they're going to have to walk in the door. So what could you say to people to give them that little nudge uh, to join us at TEDx Surrey? So I'm really excited about the information I'm going to share. It comes directly from my research at UBC and a lot of thought and time and energy and Canadian tax dollars have gone into funding and supporting these ideas. So in a way, you've already purchased it. So you should come see what you paid for. I can also tell you, I've had the opportunity to hear the other speakers and they're all fantastic. And I am absolutely excited to hear them again. Um, and so I think it's going to be a, a really interesting day, a thought provoking day. And um, I am confident everyone will very much enjoy themselves and, and really learn a tremendous amount. I'm going to really leave with a different way of seeing the world and thinking about the environments around us. Oh, and fair enough. Now, uh, it just got me thinking. I'm kind of curious, is there something you've run into? Is there some sort of, I know you don't, you may not get into it in your talk, but is there some sort of myth or something you'd like to dispel or something that gets under your skin that you hear about that you'd like, if it were to stop being said, that'd be great. That would be great. Well, um, there's a couple about the brain that are out there that uh, perhaps are not exactly accurate. Um, this idea that um, you can have only be using part of your brain or you can turn your brain off is absolutely untrue. Your brain is always on, it's always active, it's always changing. The idea that um, we learn best when we're young is kind of true, but not really. We're, we're real learning machines. Our brains are always learning and changing. They do that from the moment we're born and until we die and who knows after that. But definitely that's another one that drives me crazy. And the last one is this idea that you have to have 10,000 hours of practice to be an expert. It's actually not at all true. Uh, some of us may need a lot more, <laughs> but a lot of us may need a lot less. And it's, so it's highly individual. And, and that's a really interesting thing about our brains. Each brain looks and operates as uniquely as we do. So it's, it's pretty neat. Each of us have a very special instrument in our bodies. And uh, it's really important we protect them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. You, you say that. And I hearken back to when I was a kid and, and not wearing bicycle helmets and all those sorts of things and the knocks on my dog and to have happened there. Um, now, if people haven't gathered it yet, you do a lot. You're a very busy person. And why invest the time in becoming a TEDx speaker? It, it is a lot of time. And I do ask myself this question. I asked before I did this, I've given a TEDx talk 
in the past. So I kind of knew what I was getting into. Um, however, I think it's so important to share these messages, to share the research and um, my thinking and my uh, ideas with the public. It's really, really exciting as a scientist to have an idea that can actually change people's lives, that, that leaves the lab and goes out into the world and takes shape and affects people, maybe affects policy, and definitely affects health and our community. And so that's the big reason why. It, it's quite critical that, that this information is, is out and available to the public. Great. And I'm curious about you personally, what, what's something you're really looking forward to at, at the event? Well, I, I'm looking forward to finishing my talk so I can enjoy the others. <laughs> it's quite scary, no matter how much you speak and when I talk, you give. Uh, TEDx is a special environment. It always feels different. So that's one. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to sharing our information, my information, and the things that I've thought about quite deeply and for a very long time um, with others. And, and hopefully, in hearing back later, that it has indeed changed the way people view their brains, view their health, and are um, experienced in their daily life. I hope it makes a difference in a positive way for lots of folks. Well, yeah, I have no doubt having been able to 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 hear what you're speaking on and knowing that you've you've done this in the past and we're you know blessed to have you as part of our community. And so thank you very much, Laura, for being here today. Oh, I really look forward to it and I'll look forward to seeing everyone at uh, TEDx Surrey. Great, thank you. And of course, uh, to get information on TEDx Surrey, you just go to tedxsurrey.ca and that's where you can purchase tickets, find out more about our speakers and everything TEDx Surrey.